guys, it's Kat. Thank you so much for watching. So today's video is going to be my first look using the Kat Von D um, Monarch palette. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So um, the way that I do my reviews with eyeshadow palettes is, or the new way that I do them, is that I show you three looks that you can create using the palette. And then at the end, I give you an overview of my thoughts on the eyeshadow palette. So today, we're going to do the first look. And it's the look that I'm wearing right now, obviously. And as you can see, it's a very um, daytime appropriate look, I would say. So here's the, a look at the palette. And I mainly used all of these shades right here. Oh, and first off, I just wanted to say, um, if the quality of this video is better, it is because I just got a new camera. I got it for my birthday from my boyfriend. He completely surprised me. Still in awe. But yeah, I just wanted to give him a quick little shout out because... I am very stoked. Anyway, back to the palette. So I used um, these shades as you can see right here and they're all pretty um, neutral. This is a, um, all over the lid I have this peachy shade which is really really pretty. Definitely um, not as pronounced. It's a peach that's not super loud so it's perfect for everyday, everyday wear. Then I have this silver on the outer corners and I have this color in my uh, crease to blend everything out. And then I have these two shades mixed on my eyebrow bone. So it's this really pretty, uh, it's almost like kitten, Stila kitten, and this milky, or no, more vanilla matte color. So I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see. Hopefully the zoom works because I'm not too certain how to use this just yet. Okay, so on the rest of my face, uh, for foundation, I have on the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which I have a review on, so I'll link that down below. For bronzer, I'm using the Buxom Hot Escapes Bronzer, and the color is Mel Dives, and it's this gorgeous bronzer, and I didn't really use it to, as a contour, mainly just as a bronzer, and I have that all over. And for blush, I have um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. Which looks like that. I don't even know how to focus on this thing, does it? Oh, right there. So, I have that as a blush. And lastly for lips, I have on Too Faced uh, Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in uh, Melted Coral, which is what I have on. And then over that I have a little bit of the MAC Lip Glass in Tour de Fabulous. I believe this was limited edition, so I'm not too sure if it's still available. But that's what I have on my lips, and that's going to be it for today's look, and I'll see you again in tomorrow's. So for today's look, I went a little bit more warm, and I stuck to this part of the palette, as you can see. On the inner corner, I started off with the gold. All over the lid, I have this reddish orangey color. And then on the outer crease, I have this dark brown shade right here, just very little. And then I blended everything out, of course, with this, um, I don't even know what kind of color. It's like a really light brown. And I just went over it uh, on my crease. And for highlight, I used this vanilla, it's really, really creamy, this color, right on my brow bone. So I just think it's a really, really beautiful um, orangey sunset kind of look. I think it's very... Um, I don't know, it's just really, really pretty. I really like it. Um, I've worn this look several times already. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram, and many of you seem to like it. Um, so I recreated it this time using my new camera so that you guys can see. So I'm going to zoom in so that you can see the overall look. I have the same foundation on as before, same bronzer, which is... The NARS Sheer Glow and the Buxom Bronzer, the Mal Maldives Bronzer. For blush, I have on the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll. It looks like that. It's just a really pretty pinky uh, blush. For my lips, I have on the uh, Revlon Color Stay Color Burst Lacquer Balm in Demure, and it's just a really nice uh, color that I tend to wear a lot, and I have been using a lot, as you can see. I've done damage to this thing. So that's it for today's look, and I'll see you again in tomorrow's look.
So for today's look, I went a little bit dark and I added some lashes for drama. It is... What? I have a hair there. Um, it's really nasty outside. It's raining, it's icky, and I was feeling dark, so that's what I did. Um, so I started off with this color all over my lid, and it's like a brownish, uh, pearly color. It reminds me of Mulch by MAC. It has like that reddish tone to it. Really, really beautiful. So I put that all over my lid. In the inner corner, I took this highlight color that's like a uh, Stila Kitten almost. Well, it's actually really similar. Um, and then, in the crease, I obviously I took this color, which is the only crease color in the palette. And I used this brown, no, I used the black to intensify the outer corners. And then I did the same thing on the eye. Oh, no. And then I put a little bit of this peachy color um, that I used in the beginning. And I put that right in the center of the eye just to draw more light to the eye not, and not have it just all so starch starch so stark let me wipe my hands off really quick so I'm gonna zoom you in so that you can see the overall look so on the rest of the face my foundation is still the same the NARS sheer glow foundation for bronzer I have the same one which is the buxom Maldives or Maldives, I don't know how to pronounce that, I think it's Maldives, but I have just really enjoyed this bronzer and have it all over the face. For cheeks, um, I'm using Ambering Rose by MAC, which is a gorgeous, oh, such a pretty color, and I have that on my cheeks. And for lips, I have the Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencil in Syra. It's a peachy color, and I really, really like this uh, lips pencil too so and I have no gloss that's the actual shine just from the pencil I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all the shades for so you start off on this side and this is the first shade That's the first four shades. Those are the next five. Super pigmented, beautiful, beautiful. And lastly, there's just the highlighting shades. So we have this one, which is really, really pretty and pigmented, super, uh, super blendable too. This is my favorite shade. And this one, I'm not, I just, I don't know, I don't think it's like necessary. And those are the uh, transforming shades, like she calls it. So this is what the palette looks like. It is a decent size. Um, it is made out of cardboard, but it still has like a good weight to it. It doesn't feel um, really, really thin or like, you know, like it would break really easily. The overall look of the palette is gorgeous for a cardboard box. The names of the shades are printed in the back, which, you know, doesn't really matter to me. The inside of the palette has a, um, a mirror that, um, yeah, it's fully functional, the mirror. It doesn't, doesn't, it's not one of those wavy looking plastic mirrors. And then the shades are all in here. And overall, I feel like the shadows, the quality of the shadows were okay for me. They weren't, def they were definitely not the best shadows that I've used only because they're really, really, really soft. Um, they're pigmented, but they're very soft. So that means that they, um, they crumble. Let me take a brush to show you what I'm talking about. The shade that did that the most for me was my actual favorite shade in the palette. And it's this color right here. Let's see, it'll focus. So this shade is beautiful, um, but when you put a brush to it, just really lightly, it like kicks up so much of the actual shadow and 
it's a shame because you're you're not using it and obviously that's super pigmented you can never put that into your eye just like that onto your eye like that but it kicks up so much of the shadow so you have to make sure that you're really tapping off your brush because if not you're just gonna make a big big mess tons of fallout it's not cute so I would definitely suggest using uh, a base with these I would never use these eyeshadows without a base because I feel like they won't have anything to stick to and I would also suggest to do your eye makeup before you apply the shadows because there can be fallout but other than that these shades are all beautiful they're all pigmented they're all just really buttery smooth they blend in really easily uh, but that's the only thing, my only gripe with it was that they're super soft and they're so soft that they, they almost fall apart on their own. The shadows are really similar to Lorac shadows from the Lorac Pro palette, that, that consistency. They're buttery, they're really, really soft, but they're so soft that they fall apart. Um, so with that being said, I feel like it's definitely not my favorite palette. Granted, I've never used anything from Kat Von D before as far as her shadows go, but I, I am pleased with the pigmentation of the shadows and with the way that they blend. These are all shades that you can uh, wear on a daily basis. They're not necessarily shades that are going to um, really, really uh, be really bold. I mean, you can with some of the shades, but overall, it's mostly a neutral palette for me. But I do like that you have the warmer side of the palette and then you have your cooler shades too. So that's going to be it for this review. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. If you have any questions, please leave, the, please leave them down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Next up, I have the mother of all bright lipsticks, I think. Um, well, in my opinion at least. And that is Candy Yum Yum. It is a matte